Can you bring up all that stuff? I'll try. Hey, Chip and Co. fans. Greg and Holly here. We're at the Ticket and Transportation Center. Running a few minutes behind because everybody was trying to get out of Hollywood Studios who did not get the 1 p.m. boarding pass. So bear with us as we start here and get over to the brand new, not brand new, why am I saying brand new? The reopening of the Epcot monorail line. We're gonna hop on real quick here. We're gonna get through security. We're gonna go up and get to the Epcot monorail. We're gonna take a ride on the monorail and we'll discuss some news and what we got going on here today. Thanks so much for joining us earlier for our stroll through Rise of the Resistance and through Batu and Galaxy's Edge. Jeanette, thanks for joining us today. John, again, thank you guys so much for joining us. We're really happy that you guys are here at Chip & Co. We're grateful that we have so many people joining us for everything, getting back to normal down here in Florida at Walt Disney World Resorts. That's exactly it, Marshall Patrick. We are so grateful to have everything, kind of just little things like this, like getting the monorails back up. Tusker House reopened. Trails End reopened. Citrico's reopened. Like, it looks like we're finally getting more and more things to reopen. And kind of just get back to a, whatever the quote unquote new normal is. Kim, thank you very much for joining us. We're gonna keep sharing as long as people keep watching and we truly appreciate it. There may be a slight delay as we go through security, but I don't have anything in my bag. We should be able to walk right through, get on the Epcot monorail line. Tonight, thanks so much for watching from work. Don't get in trouble. I don't know if I should keep my voice down or not. Hopefully you have headphones on. Michelle from Boston, thank you. Okay. Who was here earlier for Rise of the Resistance walkthrough? That kind of took us a little bit of a while to get through it. The line got backed up. It would have had a delayed opening and they didn't actually run the shuttle sequence. So when you got in, you were right in the room with all the stormtroopers. Kind of took away from the story a little bit, but look, things happen. Thanks for joining us from North Carolina. All the way from Massachusetts, Heidi. Hello. Hazel from the UK. Guys, we are worldwide today. This is absolutely amazing. Stephanie from Virginia. Thank you so much for watching us. All right, we're gonna walk through security here. If anything goes wrong, we're gonna stop recording. We're gonna stop filming. We should be able to get through real quick here. Security here at Disney World is really amazing. They do a great job. They normally keep us moving quick, straight through. All the fans off the show. All the fans off the show. Jill from Davenport. That's exactly where we're from. We live in Davenport off of 27. Thanks for joining us today. New York City checking in. Here we go. Let's see if we get through. Should all be good. Nothing beeped on us. Let's go get on the monorail. Yes, please come over here for me. Oh, You're good, You're Denise from Buffalo. You Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right, we're through, everybody. Tiffany from Kentucky. Thanks for coming through. Saratoga Springs. Jill, we're up by, uh, what do you want to say, Four Corners? We just moved here during the pandemic back in October, so we're actually new newer Tracy thanks for watching from Nashville again this is all appreciated 
Once we get inside and get towards the monorail, we'll go over some news bits. We'll stop breathing so hard. You'll stop seeing the camera shake. North Carolina checking in today. Thanks guys so much. We got everybody from North Carolina. What's that, the fourth, fifth one? Okay, as you can see, look, Blue Monorail is up and running. Monorail to Epcot, here we go, folks. First day that it has reopened in 15 or 16 months. I, it's a little emotional. It, it's a little emotional for us who live down here. And I know it's a lot emotional for the guests and your guys and all the fans that come down here. And it was kind of a pain in the butt not being able to hop on anytime you wanted to park hop between Magic Kingdom to Epcot. But here we are. We are back to the monorail. Back to being able to go back and forth to park hop easily. Obviously after 2 p.m. That one hopefully will go away. Donna from Lake Tahoe, thank you so much for checking in. All right, we're gonna see if we can get on here. All right, guys, here we go. We are on the monorail. Look how easy that is to get on. Let's ride over to Epcot. We're at the Ticket and Transportation Center. As you can see, we are finally on the monorail. We are on monorail blue. Thank you, Diana. We're actually have, trying to have a lot of fun. What we're really gonna try and do is, as I try and have a seat here, I will stand up eventually. But, here we go, folks. Epcot monorail from Ticket and Transportation Center is finally going. No, no new cars. They, just kind of, they did bring back the orange line. Diane from California. Hello out there. Oh, we love it too. We're so happy to be able to do this. And again, it has been a long time since we've been able to get on the Epcot line. Pepper is calling you. Good afternoon, all our guests. Welcome aboard Monorail Blue. Our next stop is going to be the, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, otherwise known as Epcot Center. And we are glad to be back riding this monorail again. For the health and safety here on board, please drop our face covers at all times. Our friend, on board the monorail. Thank you, Barry. If you're standing, please hold on to the silver handrails for your safety and please never lean against any other back doors. We hope you have a great rest of your day. Welcome aboard Monorail Blue. There we go, Some just some announcements. You can hear the excitement in the cast member's voice. They are so happy to be here and to be able to ride over. We saw them coming in the other day and practicing. Hello out there to, I just saw three different people. I think it was Ruth and everybody from Pennsylvania. Guys, thanks so much for joining us from Pennsylvania. That's, uh, we're from Philadelphia originally, well, Bucks County. Lived in Montgomery County for a while, so all you Pennsylvania fans, Pennsylvania, I don't know where the accent just came from, but here we go. I'm actually going to switch sides. But here we go. It is so nice to be on the other line. Look at this. Riding the monorail. Betsy from Madison. Here we go. I'm actually going to swap seats real quick, everybody, so don't mind me. I know this is highly obnoxious of me, but here we go. New Hope, Pennsylvania checking in. That's right down the street. Holly is from Ben Salem. I'm from Yardley. Okay, I'm from Morrisville. Sorry, I like to say Yardley. Robert from Jersey checking in. Thank you so much, Robert. We really do appreciate you guys coming in here. We are on the monorail blue line. Trying to give you guys the best view of what's going on. Now look, 
one of the best things about being on the monorail is coming through once you hit Epcot and you see Spaceship Earth you get the best view of World Showcase and going around Future World is so fun like when I was a child I rode this monorail probably like 20 times one day just going back and forth my parents wasted money buying me a ticket all I wanted to do David from the UK thank you so much Charity from West Virginia PA the tax state wow thanks Ruth <laughs> Roaring Spirings I know exactly where you're at Sandy White so as you can see the parking lot we're passing by for Ticket and Transportation Center it's not that busy of a day here it's actually kind of quiet Samantha thank you so much we can't wait for you guys especially from the UK to get back over here we really do miss seeing our friends from the UK. David from Fort Mill, South Carolina. I, I think we're almost up to at least 50 states, two different countries. Now we do have our Canadian friends, three different countries. I'm sure there's somebody else out there, guys. Just say hello. I'll try and give you a shout out. As we're going by, taking in transportation. There we go, the Magic Kingdom sign for everybody who's been missing it, going by the Epcot. Again, we're on Epcot, the blue line. Hello from Baltimore, Australia, Sydney. Thank you so much for checking in and watching with us today. I'm so excited to see that all you guys are here from all around the world. Diane from New Jersey, Fayetteville, North Carolina, coming in 120 days. You're gonna have a great time when you get here. I, it's just, everything's kind of opening up. Look, traffic's not horrible. The lines are not horrible. It is the middle of July. We do have Boo Bash is coming up. We have a few other major events. We have Disney World's 50th anniversary starting on the 1st of October, which trust me, Chip and Co fans, we will have everything covered. I'm not kidding. I think we have probably seven or eight of us who will be out here going live in different places. I know Chip is coming down himself. He will be here for the first. There we go, passing the silver line. This is exciting being back on the Epcot monorail line again, guys. 55 days, we can't wait to have you guys down here. We're one of those people, we're grateful that you guys come down here. It truly helps us. After, again, what happened for the past 16, 17 months, we're just grateful that people wanna come down. Jerry from El Paso, Texas, thank you so much for watching. If I miss anybody's name, I apologize, but as you can see in the distance, that is Swan, Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort. For those going, that doesn't look like a dolphin. It is the dolphin, the fish. Not dolphin as in the mammal, dolphin, the fish. Donald from Cincinnati, thanks for checking in today. Patricia. Paloma, thank you. Sharing this and liking this really helps us out. It lets us know that you guys are enjoying the, doing what we're trying to bring you. There's going to be a whole lot of more live events coming up. We're going to be doing a few more uh, walkthroughs in the park. Right around the corner here, you should be able to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy building. That they're, the new roller coaster is the giant building on your left. And of course, Spaceship Earth. So I'm gonna to go to the other side as we come in here. Scran, PA. Used to work at a club up there called Tinks. I used to love, oh, and the Scran Cultural Hall. That's how far back, that was back in 99, 98, 97. Shows you how old I am. There we go, folks. Spaceship Earth coming through. You can see the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy building that they're actually taking a lot of the trailers away, the construction trailers, because they're almost done. We don't have an opening date for it, hopefully soon, but now stay with me as I try and balance as we go through here. This is one of the greatest views I think in the park. As I was saying earlier, I used to love riding the monorail line and going to be able to see World Showcase, Future World from the top. I think I love the behind the scenes look. 
that's why I don't read too much of what's going on behind the scenes because I love seeing the visuals and I love seeing what's going on out there so Mercetown PA checking in Beverly thank you so much for checking in with us thanks for saying hi as you can see food and wine festival is going on it's not too crowded down there we're gonna have a great time when we go we're gonna ride spaceship earth we're gonna go get a ton of food stay with us chip and co fans because check the website check instagram check tiktok we're giving you all the news from food and wine see this is what i'm talking about yeah let's go to the other side real quick you can see the new space 2020 restaurant is right there followed by guardians of the galaxy that is turning away we see mission space test track as we're going by richards hello from ohio thank you so much now here's one of my favorite views of all time you can see mexico as we come around and then you get to see the world showcase this is what this monorail is about is this view right here in the distance you can actually see the Italian Pavilion, straight across the American Pavilion. There is the Stargate. Hopefully they're not gonna open up the path to another world. We don't know what Disney is up to sometimes. Stacy from Long Island, thanks for checking in. What's funny is, here you go, construction. Sorry, I know you guys wanna see all the construction. You can actually see the Moana area that they're building, which is going to be beautiful. So. You can actually see all the construction going on. You can see the new pathways they're building. Linda from Long Island, thank you so much. So there you go, there's a lot of the construction that is going on. As I fall into the window, don't mind me. Oh, this is just so amazing to be able to go on this. And a great view of Spaceship Earth, guys. Mexico City. Raquel, thank you so much. No, thank you from Gloucester, Mass. So happy to be able to be doing this. We are being bumped around and we're gonna go right down there. A little bit of food and wine signage. There's your entrance to Epcot. And here we go, folks, into the monorail station. Oh, our first ride back on the Epcot monorail line. We are on the Epcot monorail blue. Folks, thank you so much. This is so cool to be able to be here and to be able to go live with everybody and talk to you. Remember, chipandco.com. That's chipandco.com. I say it too fast and it's like, chipandco. Check the Instagram, check the TikTok. We're gonna walk out here for a second and we're gonna see what's going on. Thank you. As we go back down the ramps here, we're gonna get in front of everybody, but please stay with us as we go down the railing. We're just, let's get a nice view of the monorail as we walk by. Thank you, Blue Monorail. Thanks for reopening this. Thanks for the memories of it. We're just happy to be able to get here and ride this again. For me, it's a childhood dream of being able to live down here and, and kind of just be able to hang out. I mean, I live six miles from Epcot and I get to relive my childhood on a daily basis here. I get to walk around and talk to you guys live every single day that you want. And it's just so cool to see Disney World with what happened in the world reopening and becoming that magical place. Where am I going to? We're actually going inside the food and wine. But I wanted to just say thank you to everybody. We are gonna go ride Spaceship Earth. We're gonna go have some food. But I just wanted to show you guys the monorail little shaky up there but you haven't ridden it in so long that it's been crazy so for those of us for those of us for those of you who were with me earlier for the rise of the resistance and the walk through hollywood studios thanks so much i really did appreciate that i will be bringing the jar jar doll that i just bought myself yes grown man bought a jar jar plush don't send hate mail 
only love. You gotta love Jar Jar. Now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna ride Spaceship Earth. We're gonna try and get a few pictures for everybody to share over the next few days about food and wine. Some of the new booths that have been opened up here. I know I'm walking through down the ramp. I forgot how long the ramp was. Go ahead, say wave hi. We're live. See? Chip and Co fans, see? Everybody's out here having a great time. As we get down here, I'm sure you all remember how the walkway is. So you're already on the other side of the security now. You can just walk right in. So stick with me as I walk right in. I think I'm gonna take you guys up to some of the food and wine stuff. As I don't mind the shaking for a minute, I have to pull out my pass here. Or sorry, ticket, since I don't have an annual pass yet. Hopefully, Come on. hopefully, Disney will bring them back. Look, we got the monorail today. We had trails in last night. We had Citrico's open up. Just more and more opening up daily down here. Okay, so you can see some of the food and wine stuff. We're gonna take this up to Spaceship Earth and then we're gonna sign up, sign off. But you can see today, one day ticket sales, 126. So that's actually on the lower end of the prices. It is a Sunday in the middle of July. Crowds are not too bad right now. So if you guys are thinking about coming down to Disney World, if you're thinking of coming down to Epcot for food and wine, or for when Boo Bash is starting up in August, the prices are, are not horrible. You're looking at the middle to the lower end, but what you're looking at is the crowds are not horrible. It's actually quite reasonable to come down here right now and not have to spend a million hours in line. Uh, ride queues are not horrible. Those are pretty good. Okay, so deal with me as we walk through the fans. It does get a little loud. Okay, we're gonna scan. Oh, we're gonna hold on one second. We're gonna pan up to see Spaceship Earth and the monorail. See, every once in a while you have this happen where you're like, hey, I'm in the middle of the fans, at least I'm cool. All right, here, let's go see. Make sure we're through. We got green. Holly's got green. We're good to go, everybody. Food and Wine Festival is in effect here today, which we, I know Nikki walked you guys around. We're gonna get ourselves a passport. We're gonna get us a fromage, path, walkway, whatever, hide and seek, hunt. I can't think of the words right now because I'm, <laughs> I am so excited to be here to take the monorail line from Ticket and Transportation Center what we're doing is we're going to hang out at Epcot for a little bit. We're going to go over to the Magic Kingdom to see Happily Ever After for the first time we've seen it inside. I know we brought you guys live on opening day. So there you go. Spaceship Earth. Food and wines going on here. Jamie, thank you so much for checking in from Spain. That is absolutely amazing to us that you would check in and hang out with us. So listen, everybody, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna go ride Spaceship Earth. We're gonna go cool down. I could not say how thankful, like I couldn't express how thankful we are that you guys are checking in and going live with us. My camera's not brilliant. Camera's, I'm all shaky. My, my steady cam that I have decided to, the battery was gonna crap out because the car was too hot. So. I'm gonna check in with a few friends. I'm gonna to wait to see Minnie and Mickey because they actually meet right before you get to Spaceship Earth. Mickey and Minnie meet right over here. So if you want pictures with them, that's where you go. To the right side of the entrance of Spaceship Earth is Mickey and Minnie. Guys, thank you so much from Chip & Co. We wanna thank Chip for letting us go live twice today. It is a beautiful Sunday. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Florida. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's I don't know. I'm a little emotional. Everything's coming back. We get to hang out here in Epcot. 
what a beautiful life this is, everybody. I hope you get down here soon. We'll be back live with you, live within the next week with you. We'll let you know on chipandco.com or on our Facebook. Check the Instagram. Please sign up for TikTok. We're doing really good on that and we're having a great time. So I appreciate all of you. Guys, have an amazing, magical day from Epcot to all of you in Chip and Co land. Thank you so much.